Now you can start a sourdough starter with pretty much any flour. Essentially to make a sourdough starter, all you need is flour, water, and time. Now what I do is a slightly little different because I add in a couple of different types of flour. Yeah, Dinga does have all the answers. Personally, I like the sourness that the millet flour gives to the sourdough starter, but it is not something that is necessary. If you'd like, you can just use regular whole wheat flour and water and nothing else. I like to use as much of my local yeast as possible. What I do is I'm going to use this today for you guys at home. You also want to use something glass, something ceramic. Try to stay away from metal. After I took and washed and dried the vessel that I'm using to do my starter, I took and sat it outside. I like to do anything where I'm trying to collect yeast, typically on a day that my grass has been cut. Now I'm not a microbiologist, but in my head, when things are being disturbed, natural yeasts are gonna be brought up in the air. To me, it just sounds logical. I could be completely wrong, but it has worked for me my whole life. Well, as long as I've been doing this. Shall we start? Today we act in silent. We're not going to peep. we're gonna to wanna to take just one half cup of the starter from yesterday. We're gonna throw out the rest. So we're gonna take the half a cup of starter, we're gonna take one cup of flour, half of a cup of water, we're gonna mix that, and we're going to let it sit. And once that's mixed in, we're going to mix it in with our one cup of flour. And then once we have our mixture, we're going to take this and we will put this portion into our fermentation vessel. We will cover it and we will let that sit until the next feeding. So welcome to day three. Now on day three is when we actually are getting a little more involved with this. So we're going to switch from just a one feeding a day to two feedings a day. Yeah, that's tell the thing that come now. But didn't you realize, oh gee, this does take a couple days, so. So many days. Day four, day five, same thing. Day five, you're gonna to wanna to name it. Now I know this sounds stupid, but one thing I learned is if you name something, more than likely you're going to feel a little bit of responsibility to actually have to feed it and not just leave it in the refrigerator. Did somebody feed Mukesh? I did not name this one. So for the evening of day five, right before you put that mixture in the refrigerator for its new home, right before you put it to sleep, and then you wanna give it a double feeding. So that means you're going to take one cup of that starter plus you're going to take two cups of flour and one cup of water you're going to mix that all together and then what you're going to do is you're going to put it in a nice container you're going to put it in the refrigerator and then remember feed it every week so remember at least feed it once a week that is very critical feed them now that Discard, use that to make pizza dough, waffles, biscuit, bread, muffins, pancakes. Basically, there's a whole bunch of stuff you can make with it. Or what you can do is be friendly. Give that portion that you're going to throw away to your neighbor, your brother, your friend, your granddad, your auntie, your uncle, your granny, your sister, your stepbrother, dog walker, your cousin, anybody. Hopefully that helps. If you have any questions, please list them right below and I'll be sure to answer them. Check out all of my social media on Instagram as well as Facebook. Don't forget to like, don't forget to follow, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to share. Thanks for joining me today. Namaste. Basically, if we go talk nastiness, sourdough starters, when your, your dough doesn't get a yeast infection. Sort that out. Let that sit in your brain for a little bit. 
Your granny's neighbor Mukesh's sister Shelly. She dog walker's name is Larry. And Larry, his son, he does tell my friend Nancy that she go to tell Bob that Bob does not like Mukesh's way that he does grow his things in his yard. Who go feed Mukesh?